Well, welcome back, viewers. It's James Common again on the bike. We're going to start out the new year right here on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn. We're going to go in and this is the studio of Julian Jackson, who is also the proprietor, along with his wife, Rennie Lynch hit metaphor art. And he's preparing for an exhibition at Catherine Markell. Hey, Randy. I'm here. You, you ready for your uh, close-up? Oh, I'm gonna walk into the studio here. Wow. Beautiful space. Julian, thanks for taking the time to let me come in and get a sneak peek of the uh, upcoming show. Now, the title of the show is Will of the Wisp? Yes, Will of the Wisp. At Catherine Markell, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How many pieces are you going to have in the show? Uh, about 14. Oh, that's a lot of work. Yeah, well, so the last year, last year of work. Well, tell us a little bit about your process here. I was actually, I was noticing these are on... Well, I panel, mean, I right? I have MDF panels that uh, I make. I like this very flat surface. It provides a, uh, I don't know, it, there's no texture, there's just pure. And surface. then you have kind of a reverse bevel going on there so that the yeah. picture plane is not uh, pieces are floating contained. The wall. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Um, I've been working like this for a few years and I really love the way the uh, surface just dematerializes the color and uh, the paint just becomes kind of light in color. It's like a pure color experience. You're, you're an artist, a painter. You're the nephew of a fairly well-known artist, um, Ward Jackson. Mm -hmm. uh, you run a gallery. Yeah. And you're married to an artist. Yeah, art is my life. So it seems like you're really, you're immersed in the whole thing. and. Uh, what yeah. is that sort of, how's that directed your life? Well, it's, uh, you know, like every artist getting out of art school, it's a challenge. I mean, you know, I, I, I was impacted by art early on. My parents would drop me off at the local museum and say, meet me back at, you know, three hours or whatever. And it just, it was, it was something that I grew up with. Uh, my uncle's paintings hung around my grandmother's house, and I lived there for quite a while in college. And it, um, I don't know. It's just, it's a big part of me, uh, obviously. And how did you end up in New York? Uh, I moved to New York after art school. I went to art school in VCU, uh, Virginia Commonwealth University down in Richmond. I moved to New York in about 1981. And um, your uncle was already here. Did he help you uh, sort of make some connections and uh, yeah. see what it was like to be in the big, bad New my York uncle, art world? My uncle was a, uh, uh, not a misanthrope exactly, <laughs> but uh, he, was a, he was an eccentric personality. And uh, well, there's no, he none saw of those me in the more as competition than as someone he needed to nurture and, uh, and help. Okay. My uncle didn't, didn't quite get it. He was an urban guy. He really uh, had, had, so, a, he had a very you know, different approach to making work. And these are straight oil paintings? And they are straight oil paintings. And you're doing this all with a brush? Yes, it's all brushed. I always look at these and I wondered how you've got such a uh, nice uh, feathered edge on well, there. I work wet into I was wondering wet, whether or not there was some kind of air. airbrushing or something, but uh, you know, despite your attempts at removing the brush strokes, there is a subtle, yeah, I never quite subtle remnants of, of that. Well, I'm glad. I like uh, I like the sign of the hand. It's paint after all, and uh, you know, it has its own its own challenges. How long do you work on one of the paintings? Uh, well, do they happen pretty fast? Do you do do you work I on them over time? On, you know, they they feel like they come out best if I'm fastest, if I'm working my fastest, but I don't always. And so, how long is that? Always, well, you know, maybe four to six hours. Really? Yeah, maybe I might work on something for eight hours. And, uh, you don't go and back in and session, work, and work over them later in another no, I day I or two over. days or weeks or months later? Yeah, they're, they're a series of layers. And we talked a little bit about your uncle, but if you were to cite people as maybe influences on your work, is there anybody that stands out that well, you, you think, like to look at? And I, I think obviously, you know, when I was a, as, a, as a sort of child of the 50s, it's almost as, as if the, the genome of that time period, you know, kind of uh, was 
it is me, it is me. And I, and I really feel like, I feel a strong link back to the color field painters of the 60s. I feel a strong link to people like Rothko, obviously. Right. Um, you know, but, and it's interesting, the title of the show, Will of the Wisp, a Will of the Wisp is a natural phenomenon in nature. It's, it's a, a collection of gases, often over swamps, that glow, that uh, take on phosphorescence, and they, it's, it's a phenomenon that has led travelers to lose themselves in forests and marshes because they they've go to these light sources, perhaps they're lost already, go to these light sources, the sources just keep moving, they keep evaporating. And I feel like as a, as a sort of formal-based painter, you know, entering the 21st century, it's, it's kind of a... Uh, I feel like I'm sometimes like a, a, an analog person in a digital age, and I'm working almost against uh, the flow of history at this point. So my own interest in trying to locate forms in formal structures, uh, you'll, you'll notice that the edges are all soft, everything's sort of ambiguous, yes. the spaces are very ambiguous. Uh, the Will of the Wisp to me is the, the search for some kind of even balance within this very ambiguous structure system that I've created for myself. So you're in the process of packing up the show right I'm now. Packing up the show. The show Everything's open. dry. <laughs> More or less. And it's, it's opening on More Thursday. It opens on Thursday. At Catherine Markell. Catherine Markell. What's the yes. address? 529? Uh, July, uh, January 7th. And her address is 520. 520. Uh, West 20th. West 20th. 529. 529. OK. Yeah. On the back side of the building. All right, we know. <laughs> I'm going to try to get there and we'll uh, pick up some stuff at the opening as well. Yeah, well, it should look better on the walls there than it does here, but, uh, you know, I'm well, happy with work and I, I'm excited. It, about it'll it. be interesting to see how they do look in the... This is a pretty clean studio you got here, though, Julian. Well, it'll be nice to see how they look in, the, in a I gallery like in a nice white space. I, I, like, uh, I like a certain order. Okay. Order and chaos, I guess you could say. Thanks, Julian. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. <laughs> Well, we're going to run up here to Catherine Markell and see Julian Jackson's The Will of the Wisp. Okay. Well, we made it. Well, now we can get a chance to see what the paintings look like a nice, clear, white gallery wall. Hello. Wonderful. You like the work? I love monochromatic work today. What do you like about it? The range of the values is quite wonderful. How do you like his, uh, his emanating light? The emanating light is gorgeous. The thinness of the support is wonderful. Just very happy to be here in this cold day. And it's good to see you. It's warming you up? Okay, thank you. Take a little stroll around here and see some of the some of the crowd. And now we we'll take a little sweep of the second gallery here. It's a wonderful selection of smaller pieces. So how does it feel to get the paintings out of the studio and get them onto a gallery wall and get all your friends out here drinking and that, that's the Enjoying completion the work. of a body of work, really. I mean, to, to get your work out of the studio and into a gallery is to see it new. And that's a great feeling. And to have people come and see it. And all your friends. And my wild and varied friends. It's really... It's, get them drunked up and have a good time. It's a, it's a very... All right, congratulations. The work looks great. It does look good outside the studio. It looks, Not it looks it didn't better look. than it did in the boxes, right? <laughs> Definitely looks better than in the boxes. Congratulations, Julian. Thank you. All right, thanks. So, this is Julian Jackson's Will of the Wisp. Here, at Catherine Markell. 529 West 20th Street in Chelsea. Thanks, Kate.